Do you really have to spend over a hundred bucks on Luxon's presence sensors? Can we take a normal high voltage motion sensor for cheap money? Your crazy automation engineer shows you how. But be careful, there is a super big downside to it. This kind of work is super dangerous, so only trained professionals should do this. So I have my high voltage coming here, blue is the neutral, here is the PE, there is the phase here. I go with the permanent power to the present sensor as usual, having the permanent and the neutral here. And if there is motion detected, 230 or 110 goes back on the brown one. This brown one is then going here to this so-called coupling relay. And what this one does is if there is power from A1 and A2, here it's a 220, 230 volt version, there is other ones as well. Then there is a connection between number one and number two, which is this lower one here and this lower one there. And whatever I put in here now on the input, 24 volt in my case here from the power supply, this one will be switched through. So what I do is I use the high voltage and I'm using a cheap coupling relay. This one was about 10 bucks. And this one then transforms the high voltage, which I cannot put on the mini server. You will smell your mistake, man. This will transform the high signal to the 24 volt signal. And then I use it on the mini server's digital input. Look super carefully. I will make motion. You see and heard it? Let's check one more time. I'm measuring here from the minus of the power supply and then I disconnected the one on the input and now directly put it on the multimeter here. And now if I, then you see the high voltage 230 is transferred to 24. So 20 bucks and let's go, but what's the catch compared to the Luxon version? These ones can be connected in a bus topology, means I go from one to another to another to another, whereas here I have to pull a dedicated cable for each motion sensor. What could be shit, depending on what you want to do, is that these sensors typically have a setting for brightness and the time. So typically I put the time to the lowest setting to adjust it in the software in Luxon, but what about the brightness here? If you set it to a value that it makes sense for lighting, so if it's bright, no light, no signal, then you cannot use this motion signal for turning on the music, using it for heating or cooling, and also not using it for alarm. Here you have a dedicated motion signal and a dedicated brightness signal. Your crazy automation guy could build some logics around it, but that's a topic for another video. Next one I will put the water sensor on the system and make a water alarm. See you then.